It's the Sean Widmer Podcast. It's a journal by someone that just really doesn't like to write. Why is there a podcast up on a random Thursday afternoon? What's going on? Not a normal time for a podcast. And there's a lot of reasons why. There's just a ton of reasons why this is happening right now. I needed to test out my equipment. I'm going to tell you why that is in a second. It's cool, awesome, big news. It's, it's big news. It is actually very big news. And I've been doing the podcast here in the new house for a couple months now. I've really enjoyed doing it here. We started getting back into video. And I've been b- broadcasting here from the podcast Dungeon, which a lot of people always commented on, what are you doing? recording there. I just loved it, right? I love dungeons. And so it looked like the dungeon in here, but I've got to change the look of it because of what's coming down the pipe. We'll talk about that in a second. So if you're watching on YouTube, you see a new background. It's it's just uh, my favorite, one of my favorite things I've ever purchased. It Not ever. I mean, but one of my favorite pieces of decoration I've ever purchased. It's a map. It's a drawing of a map of Spokane in, I think, 1908. And it's it's really cool, and it's, I, it's something I love. I, they had it at Brown's Tavern in Brown's Edition, and it was on one of the walls there. And I remember going to breakfast with Anna one day when she was visiting from Los Angeles, and I saw the poster. And I never would have gone in there because it was a, it was a breakfast brunch place. I don't like breakfast, but Anna loved breakfast, so we went and got breakfast there. And yeah, I saw this on the wall, and I scoured the internet and finally found one and snagged it. And it's been one of my favorite things to hang on the wall wherever I've lived since then. And my dad made like a little frame for it that's kind of cool. I, I love that because my dad made it. So that's that's sweet. And it's, yeah, so that's the new background. If you're watching on YouTube, if you're listening, I do need your help. If you're watching, I need your help how it looks. If you're listening, I need your help on how it sounds because I had to shift all my equipment around, which means I had to unplug everything, replug everything back in. In the midst of that, sometimes you change some settings. And my settings, I felt like were pretty dialed. And now, you know, I had to, re- I had to redo it. I think it sounds great. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure it sounds great. That's something I, I'm good at. But, I, you know, if it doesn't, this is my time to test it out because I need it to work very well because coming down the pipe, the big news I've been teasing for the last couple of weeks. I can finally say it because just an hour ago, I got back from Nashville, Tennessee, where I was down there yesterday setting up podcast equipment in the tour bus of... Joe Nichols, because Joe Nichols and I are going to be doing a podcast together. I'm really, really, really excited about it. I got to go down yesterday, meet Joe at his bus, set up his equipment with him. He's so awesome, so nice. I mean, I've interviewed him a lot of times for a number of years working in the country radio world, and we knew he was a solid dude, and he made us laugh when we would, when we would talk to him, whether it was in Nashville or Vegas or wherever the, the country music interviews we were doing were. And we've seen him at concerts in Spokane and, and Seattle area and stuff, and he's always been very nice to everyone. So, yeah, he reached out and, and wanted to do a podcast. I was like, yeah, I'm on board. I want to do this big time, but I want to do it right. I want to make it, I want to make it work well. So I want to make sure the video's dialed in. I want to make sure the audio's dialed in. I, I know it will be. But I'm an over preparer. I like, you know, I'm getting my own head about things. I was actually just, I, I wasted an hour of Brandon's time today driving back from Nashville, working through the things that just go through my head constantly about this kind of stuff. And I'm really excited about it. So, yeah, I, I want to make sure the new setup was there. I can't just be going on with Joe Nichols in my unfinished basement dungeon and be like, hey, dude, look at where I have my podcast stuff. He's going to be on his bus, bus a lot, so that'll be kind of fun for that. And then he's going to set up something at home as well. So when he's home, he's got a more stable situation there. But I'm real excited about it. And it's going to be very fun. And it's a, I think it's a cool opportunity. I mean, I've got to work with very... I've been very fortunate throughout my career to get to work with a lot of really cool people, including... You know, when I did the sports show with Dan Dickow, that was obviously really cool. Getting to to do the morning show with Jay and Kevin, Uh, Ryan Rigmaiden, shout out to my guy Riggs, right? I mean, what is he now? He's like a big time dude for one of the CFL teams, I believe. But it's, you know, I've I've got to do a lot of cool things with a lot of cool people. And I'm just like pumped to get to work with Joe Nichols and get to do a podcast with him. So that's going to be coming down the line. I think we're going to try to get episodes out as soon as that's next week or the week after that. We're going to start getting this rolling. So, you know, and it'll be fun, right? I, I want to make sure you guys all know because I want you to be along for the journey. The journey is is crazy, right? When you're starting a new podcast out because I've done podcasts for 20 years, 2005. I've done podcasts for 19 years. I've been doing this and I've, I love them, 
But, you know, I've never done it at that level where it's this is meant to be a really cool big podcast. Mine's always just been kind of goofing around a little bit. I love it. I think it's great. But, you know, it's it's that low-key podcast. And this is going to be a cool opportunity to do a bigger podcast and get out there and do something that I think is going to be hopefully seen by a lot of people and impact a lot of people positively. Very excited for that part of doing this. Anyways, I say all that just to say thank you to the folks who maybe can reach out right now and be like, yeah, the video looks good. The video looks suck. That picture stinks. Get something else up there. Uh, make sure the audio is sounding good. I need, to, I need to post it so I can listen back to it and make sure that all my settings are right. So yeah, thank you. And I hope you come along with this journey with us. It's going to be fun. Talking to Joe was great. Going to Nashville was fun. By the way, going to Nashville, I love that city. I, lo- I don't think I'd want to live in Nashville. I think, we, we, I think I maybe have covered this, and I need to talk to Anna about this on the podcast, but I don't want to live in Nashville, but it really is a fun city to visit. And the fact that it's a three-hour drive from Lexington to Nashville, I, I, I can foresee my wife and I making that trip a lot for fun. I know she goes there a ton for work, but I, I, you know, when our kids are older and able to maybe you know stay at one of the aunt's house or a nana's house you know, and, and able to kind of do that and we can get out of the house, I think that we will make that trip to Nashville to see friends and stay with people quite a bit because it's so easy to do. I mean, yesterday I drove down in the morning, got to Joe's bus at about, I got into Nashville at like 11. And I got to his bus about 12.30, and we set up his equipment, and it took maybe three hours to get everything set up and kind of talk through stuff, three and a half hours. They had to get going on the road with the bus to, to go to, I think, Houston or something like that for his for a show he's doing there. And so as the members of his band started showing up, I was like, I'm going to get out of, the, out of his hair. So I left at like, I got out of there at 4 o'clock, and I thought in my head, well, maybe I'll drive back tonight. That's how close Nashville is, right? Maybe I'll drive back tonight and... And get home, sleep in my own bed, and do the whole thing. But my wife was very supportive of like stay in Nashville, stay with her friend Emily, go out, get some dinner, and just kind of relax without the kids. And I, I, when I left Joe Nichols' bus, I thought, no, I'm going home. I didn't realize like how much energy I had built up inside of me about this, how excited I was, and then like a little, I'm not nervous, but just like antsy to get all the equipment set up antsy driving the whole way down just antsy to get my hands on it thinking like in my head you know I, this is how my brain works i'm like what if i don't know how to set up the equipment well I, i've done that for 20 years it's like all I, my brain was telling me yeah dude you're gonna you're gonna suddenly forget how to work an xlr cord oh no the mixer you're gonna suddenly you're gonna look at the mixer and you're not gonna know how any of it works it's like the second i actually saw it i was like oh yeah that's the mixer i can do this in my sleep but you know driving down i built up a lot of like anxiety towards that shout out to inside out too when i left his bus and i was making the decision to go home or go get some uh, drinks and dinner with emily i the weight of all of it dropped off my shoulders i realized i was exhausted i was totally spent and i thought i'm, I'm not going to be able to, i would not have been able to stay awake for the three-hour drive i was just like i was my, mentally done so I stayed in Nashville last night. We had a ton of fun. Went out with Emily. She she lives in a really cool neighborhood near downtown Nashville. There was a really cool little bar we went to. There was like a pet friendly bar. So we took her dog to it. Got to meet one of Anna and Emily's friends, Tyler, who was awesome. He was in town from Amsterdam where he lives now. And so we caught up with him and we were telling fun stories of like back when Anna was in college with them all, which I always loved hitting, hitting up and getting. And then we went and met with his sister and some other people at another spot in East Nashville and, you know, got some food, got some nachos and stuff and just hung out and caught up. And it was really fun to get to hang with my wife's friends. My wife's friends are very cool. They're very cool. They're very fun. They're extremely nice to have me just kind of jump into their group and be accepting of that. And I, I ended up needing that night, just a night away from my kids where I could just kind of decompress in that situation. Because again, I don't know why, what it was. I'm just real excited about this and I'd built up a lot of anxiety in my head. Okay, this, this is too long. I wanted this to be like five minutes because I just wanted to make sure everything was working. If you're watching on YouTube, here's the new setup. What do you think? If you're listening, how does it sound? Because I had to unwire everything and rewire it. I know it sounds good, but I just want to make sure that it does to everyone out there and get excited. The J- Joe Nichols podcast, I'm not going to say the name of it or anything yet because we're going to announce that. We'll get that going in a little bit. But Joe Nichols podcast coming out in the next week, week and a half. We'll get hopefully the first episode posted 
And hopefully it's something y'all can enjoy. Y'all can enjoy. Listen to me. I'm in Nashville. I was in Nashville for 12 hours, and I'm yawling it up, baby. Thanks for listening.